Hi guys, welcome to my first ever voiceover video. Today I will be trying out Faber Castell's Polychromo Color Pencils for the very first time. So here they are. I brought the 24 color pack. Inside it looks to have a bunch of brochures. Which, let's be real, I'm probably never gonna read. The first impression I get of these pencils is that they look very professional. They also just look so pretty, I mean look at them. This pack looks to have a lot of very nice vibrant colours, as well as a few more natural neutral ones in the mix. So on the pencil itself, it has the brand name on one side, and the pencil's colour name and number on the other. So the first thing that I'm going to do is swatch out all the colours to get a proper feel for what I have. I really appreciate how they have put the colours in somewhat of an order. As so many times when I get a new set of supplies, the first thing I have to do is rearrange them, as the order they put them in makes no sense whatsoever. The colours on the pencils were really quite accurate to the actual colour, which is always nice. Next I wanted to see how they blend. And I must say, I was quite impressed with this. I mean, just take a look at that. I reckon it looks pretty good. Next, I tried out the black, which definitely can go on nice and dark. As for the white, it showed up a little over the top, but I wasn't wowed by it. I tried out a few more blend mixes, and I think these pencils did a pretty good job. And now finally, on to the actual drawing. Firstly, I just sketched out my basic outline, and then began to colour it in. So for this drawing, I wanted to do something that would use a variety of the colours in this pack. I ended up settling on the idea of doing a couple of bees on some lavender. As I'm primarily a painter, I don't have that much experience with coloured pencils to go off. And as a general rule, I don't tend to do full pencil drawings as I find them super time consuming. I prefer to put down a watercolour wash first. But for this simple little drawing, I found these pencils to be very enjoyable to use. The colours went down well and they layered very nicely on top of each other to build up the layers. The colours were very vibrant, and using them overall was a much more enjoyable experience than some of the cheaper pencils I have used in the past. One thing I did notice was that this pack doesn't have a purple. The closest it's got to this is magenta, 
but as these colours do layer nicely, I didn't find it too hard just to make my own purple. To sum up my thoughts on these pencils, I found them to be vibrant and go down on paper nicely. They layer very well, though I find that the white doesn't do all that much on top. These pencils are good at blending with each other, as long as you're not too heavy handed on them. This pack is lacking in some colours, but I feel that it does have a fairly good variety for being a small pack. Overall, I enjoyed using these pencils to create this drawing, and I will definitely use them again in the future. I would love to know what your favourite coloured pencils are, so let me know down in the comments section. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more content like this, then hit that subscribe button. See you next time.